Spirit doesn't dwell in the time we dwell in. It dwells in its own presence. If you're going to get into spirit, you must get in the presence of the spirit. That has nothing at all to do with your timing. People have walked down the roads, been in cars, sold encyclopedias, been in mountains, been in a lot of places, and received enlightenment. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason for that occurrence taking place, except they set up the pattern to be in the spiritual energy. And that pattern, when it appears, you move into it. Give you another example. If you see an airplane going across the sky and you're going to shoot a projectile at it, where would you shoot the projectile? Directly at the plane? No. Way down in front of it, wouldn't you? At some target where it's going to intersect. The work we do in the spirit with the spiritual exercises is that we're shooting ourselves way off there to target. And that as we move into that place, we have already prepared the place by our works and our devotion. And as we move into that in our timeline, it appears. Now, shortcut time says, by doing the spiritual exercises and entering into the presence of your own spirit and the presence of Christ and God and all those uh, noble ideals, we do not have to deal in a timeline. We deal in the immediacy of everything and it becomes present right now.